Right, so here's an example of uh, this integral 0 to pi sine x dx and we want to compute r55, so the Romberg uh, 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 5, 5 means the fifth uh, improvement, so, or the, sorry, the trapezoidal composite, and then one, uh, that will be one, two, first improvement, second improvement, third, and fourth improvement. So in order to do that, um, of course, the, a lot of work required in this particular case, so R11, we start with the trapezoidal rule, the composite trapezoidal as our base, and that means we're calculating the sine of uh, zero, of course, right, plus the sine of pi, and that works out to be, of course, zero. Now, um, by the way, we also know the exact answer to this, and it's, uh, in fact, two. So the exact answer is, in fact, two. Okay, I'll just note that for you there. All right, so uh, let's see how we calculate the other values. So this is going to be pi over four, and then you'll have a sine zero, plus you'll have one extra value, in this case, which is sine a half pi, so pi over two plus sine pi. Now that works out to be 1.5707963. Okay, uh, let's go to the third, 3, 1, and this time it'll be pi over 8. And uh, this will be sine 0 plus, let's open up the bracket. Now remember, it's pi over 8, which means uh, your, essentially, uh, your h is pi over 4. So that means from 0, uh, the first value here, 0 plus pi over 4 is pi over 4, plus another pi, add another pi over 4 to this, so you get, now it's easier usually to write it this way, in my opinion, uh, so you won't lose count, sine 3 pi over 4, and once you notice that one more will actually give you the end value, this, this value here, so then you just stop there and say, okay, sine pi is next. And of course, the 2 is um, multiplied till the value of um, the angle, in this case, uh, the, uh, the pi, 3 pi over 4, and, and we stop uh, the multiplication with 2. Okay, so, so here, here you can see R41. And in this case, we have um, so 2 pi over 8 here, sorry. Okay, so this is pi 8 this time. So these will be just sine 3 pi over 8. And it will continue, of course, till sine 7 pi over 8. Because 8 pi over 8 is just sine pi. So plus sine pi, and we stop there. So we get that uh, approximation. Now, uh, let's. Uh, I'll just show you one more. We need one more because we want to calculate R55, so we need to go 51 first um, in order to be able to get to that. So we end up with this uh, R51. Uh, now remember, the next uh, sweeps are no longer is the trapezoidal rule anymore required. However, what we will be using are uh, these numbers uh, that we've computed here. Uh, these numbers are going to be quite important now as we go to the uh, first improvement uh, level. So um, as we move, let me put a line, let me put a line here. So the, the first thing we'll do as an improvement will be 2, 2, of course. And R2, 2, we'll remember by formula is R2, 1 plus a third uh, into R2, uh, 1, of course, minus R2. 1, 1. So when we uh, do that calculation, it means, remember, uh, let me just show you. So R21, R21 means this value goes in here, plus a third times R21, again, the same value, minus R11, which is this one. So in this manner, when we calculate this, it turns out to be equal to, turns out to be this. Now you can already see the improvement here, it's 2.09. The actual answer is two, so it's getting closer. Let's do a couple of the other uh, remaining three. It's R32, and again, you can see in a further improvement there. So that's a full sweep then up to five uh, for, the, for the first improvement, and you, you can already see uh, here uh, that that is the best so far, and it's really getting quite close um, to two, in fact. Now, let's, for the next sweep, let's do that next. So I'm just going to move this up a little bit. So the third 
is going to be this is R three three. Okay, so that's the first, um, and there you can see the one fifteenth formula coming in, and this turns out to be actually equal to, it's equal to that. Now in this manner we can continue on. Oh, sorry. So as we go through, there's just three to calculate in this sweep, so we end up with R53, and you can see it's very close now to two, very accurate in fact, and that only leaves us with, uh, well, we have one more, two more sweeps to do, so let's just do those. Uh, the next one is going to be R44, in fact, and that turns out to be, of course, R. That gives us uh, this value, uh, R54, and then the final one, the one left now is the last one, R55, is simply calculated. At. And that's the final uh, answer here. So that's the final result. So this is how we use Romberg uh, integration, in fact. And use, as you can see, as we sweep through, it continuously improves. And I want you to please note that all of these are, in fact, approximations to the actual integral um, of sine pi. I'm sorry, sine x from 0 to pi. So um, uh, I hope this helps you to understand how uh, Romberg integration actually works. Now, you could uh, also, by the way, instead of starting with the composite trapezoidal, you could start with the composite Simpson's rule, uh, in fact, or the composite uh, 3 8 uh, Simpson's rule. Um, it's not necessary, of course, but um, uh, the method is there. It's very powerful and gives a very accurate, in fact, answer. Uh, so uh, I think that hopefully demonstrates to you how Romberg integration works.